a new headache for Spain. Tens of thousands of people from Spain's Basque country have joined hands to form a human chain running some 202 kilometers to demand the right to hold a regional independence referendum. Well, we want for our people to have the right to choose what it wants to be, to be independent or not. It is a way to show that we are in search of the right to decide and that we want it to happen so that each one of us can express what one feels, how one wants to live and how one wants to work within a country or a state. I don't think this should be discussed right now. It is complicated, but I think right now there are more important priorities, really more important than if we want to be independent or if we want Madrid to go its own way. Right now, if you look at the situation, it is very easy to see that there are other priorities economically, the youth, health care, pensions and so on. Spain's constitution was drawn up in 1978 after the fall of dictator Francisco Franco's regime. It's an old demand uh, for decades or for centuries, as well as the Catalan one and the Galicia one as well. No? Let's remember that Spain is a country which is uh, made by at least uh, three or four uh, millenary nations. And in, from Madrid, they always uh, try for the last five centuries to make a one unified Spain. No? And especially the Basque country and Catalonia have always reacted to that. This comes in the wake of the downfall of former Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy and the formation of a new government. The push for Basque country's secession had become dormant for some time. I don't believe that it has to do with the change, with the recent change in the Spanish government, which in fact it doesn't, it won't change too much in this crucial issue, which is the territorial issue or the nation's issue. No, it will remain the same because PP and PSOE are almost the same uh, regarding the, the right for self-determination. Spain is already grappling with another rebellious region that is pushing for secession from Madrid, Catalonia. The Catalan independence bid has already cost the region a government. Following the failure of Catalonia's push for separation from Spain, a number of pro-independence officials, including former president Carlos Puigdemont, fled Catalonia for fear of prosecution by Spain that imposed direct rule over the region. The EU, uh has to deal with this issue because uh, in this specific issue of territorial and nations, nations without state, uh, there is no democracy, in fact, in Europe. no. Uh, all the democracy that they talk about, uh, we can have it in many fields, but not in the national field. no. The old nations, because we have to remember, Catalonia has 1,000 years history, written history, etc. The Basque country, even more, with the language that comes before the Roman, Experts have already investigated what has come to be known as the contagion theory. The notion of an independence bid in one region or country spreading to other regions or countries. This has sparked worries in the EU. More than 90% of Catalans voted yes for independence in the 2017 vote. But the Catalans were given the cold shoulder by the bloc. The reason is the EU is worried about the possibility of such separatist sentiment spreading across Europe. Meanwhile, the rejection of similar vote results by the EU casts doubt on its members' claim to democracy. Despite the fact that more than 90% of Catalans chose independence, the EU did not recognize the Catalans.